All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream. It is Monday, but we're not doing the usual GTA Racing playlist today. Uh, we're going to be doing a special stream event uh, on Twitch. We recently hit 2,000 followers, which is fantastic. Uh, it's currently the end of January, and we did that over the new year, so we're a little late on the uh, on hosting the stream event, but you know we're here, and I think it's going to be great. So uh, if you don't know what we're doing, we are doing five days of streaming, six hours of streaming per day, so Monday through Friday uh, this week, and we are doing a 100% run of Red Dead Redemption, and it should be pretty good. Um... I guess we'll sit and uh, we'll talk about the uh, we'll talk about the playthrough for a little bit. Let people get uh, notifications and get into the session or not the session to the stream rather. I'm already misspeaking, um, but we'll talk a little bit about the playthrough, kind of our strategy, uh, what you'll probably see in the first day, and you know all that good stuff. So uh, for those that don't know. I am playing this on PC through the service PlayStation Now, which is a uh, streaming service that lets you stream PS3 games to your PS4 or your PC. Um, if you want to play this game yourself, um, I would recommend uh, Xbox One backwards compatibility because it renders in a higher resolution and it's just all around a general, like, better game over there. But unfortunately, I'm only on PC, so... You know, we've got to make do with this. You know, it's a good thing that we can even play the game at all. So, what you're probably going to see in the first day, we're obviously going to start the game. You know, do the first few missions. And you'll probably, for the first couple hours, you'll see a lot of the challenges in the game. Because when, I do, when I've done runs of this game in the past, I prefer to uh, you know, get the challenges out as early as possible. So... You know, you'll see you'll see a lot of challenges until we cannot uh, we can no longer do them because uh, at a certain point in the challenges, as you advance up the tree, you know you've got master sharpshooter and all those types of stuff. Eventually, you get to a point where you can't um, you can't do them any longer until you move on to another portion of the map, which is later in the game. So uh, we'll be doing a lot of those today and a lot of the you know, kind of starter missions, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure how far we'll get in six hours, but I have uh, pretty good confidence that we'll be able to finish the playthrough in, what would it be, 30 hours if we're doing five days? So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can finish it uh, throughout the week. So, uh, anyway, I'll talk about the game. Um, you know, this game it has a very special place in my heart. It's definitely my favorite game. Uh, of all time, because it's the uh, it's the first game that I played online. It's the first game that I played, um, like for more than say a couple days of game time. Because uh, at the time, you know, I was on 360, and we just kind of, yeah, you know, just kind of played games, you know, finished them, and then moved on. Uh, but Red Dead Redemption being my first online game, uh, I put over 80 days into it. So, yeah, you know, I've got a lot of knowledge about the game. I know a lot about it. Um, I think I've 100%ed it four times, so, you know, if, it, if there's any game on the planet that I have the qualifications to play uh, for something like this, it would probably be this. Um, so it should be good. It should be good. Uh, I've been looking forward to this ever since uh, I saw PlayStation Now released Red Dead Redemption uh, and gave me the option to play it, and... You know, I'm, I'm expecting a good playthrough. This is definitely going to be something that I feel will be very good for the channel, uh, honestly. I think it might actually be the best thing that we've done on the channel so far. So, you know, that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to be playing on normal mode. So, um, for those that don't know, the single player added in a hardcore mode in a patch that was uh, quite a bit of ways after release. And there's a hardcore mode that locks you to free aim and make stuff more scarce. Oh, rip. Alright, PS now, calm down. But, um, you know, we're not going to be playing on hardcore mode because it'll just, it'll make the combat slower, and, you know, I kind of want to get through this at a decent pace. I don't want the, uh, I don't want the, the combat to hinder us. So, let's go ahead, we'll unmute the game, and... Yeah, it's been four minutes of dialogue. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, and throughout the playthrough, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, give some knowledge, give some opinions. We'll have a discussion about the game, because I'm sure this game uh, is very special to a lot of people, a lot of other people as well. 
So let's go ahead and make sure I'm tabbed into PlayStation now. Let's get this show on the road. Exodus in America. Rockstar Games presents The Rockstar San Diego Production Red Dead Redemption. Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. 
What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Alright, Armadillo. Let's go ahead head into the options real quick. Want to do something? Ah, Gold Guns is already off. It already knows my preferences. Fantastic. Alright, so, Armadillo. The very beginning of the game, after the uh, first cutscene. Don't know much about Armadillo, but I, uh, I hear the women are fine as cream gravy. Unlike those girls from uh, Thieves Landing, of course. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Alright, so let's mount up and uh, see where Jake's gonna lead us. He's gonna lead us up to Fort Mercer, of course. And for those that are Alrighty, saying, you know, this game looks worse than they remember, that's because it's on PS3. You want to play this game, have the best experience, you're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to do it on Xbox One. For sure. Because the uh, PS3 renders in a lower resolution, and it's, uh, it just generally looks a lot worse. Alright, Jay, come on. Pull it together. I believe the game is set in, yeah, 1910. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Whoa. The beginning of the game is set in 1910, and then it moves into 1911, I believe. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. 
I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Gideon. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Gideon. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. All right, well, if we can't convince Bill to uh, come along with me, maybe at least we can go back and tell them to send someone just a little more impressive next time. I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! He implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Poor Yeah, for some reason, I always had this bug whenever I played it back on 362, but, uh, you gotta... The gold gun setting needs a little convincing to, uh, to actually be off. So we'll be sure to turn those off. Because I really don't like them. They have no place in single player, honestly. I don't know why that they were ever thi a thing. New friends, old problems. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. 
Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should've left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. And there you go. There's our first mission done. Now let's move on to join Bonnie and let's let's head into the settings here and make sure the golden guns is off. It's so frustrating. Like I like I said, I really don't like them. They're good for multiplayer. They really are. But when it comes to single player and an immersive experience, it's uh Definitely not something that I like to have on. Alright, so let's head on over to Bonnie. Alright, listen guys, if you guys start telling me how to play this game, we're gonna have a problem. Alright, you can tell me how to play whatever game you want, but this one, no, I tell you how to play. Alright, I am your superior here. I know what I'm doing. Alright, so let's mount up and, uh, take a little tour. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on, boy. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Please do. Whoops. Right, you can't uh, change camera distances. Store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. I suppose so. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. That seems kind of topical uh, to our current situation. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. 
Slow down! Key up! And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. Uh, we'll probably get to the point where um, where we go to Armadillo. We'll probably do that mission, which is, I believe, the one after this, if I remember correctly. Or it might be two after, because I know we've got a racer. Uh, but that's when we'll start doing challenges, this once we get to Armadillo. shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Don't listen to John in this next cutscene. The repeater rifle is not a fine weapon. It's absolutely dreadful. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. No, it's not, John. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Let's do it. And I always love the detail that Rockstar puts into their into their uh, their first missions. You know, like I'm still I'm still uh, hurt from the uh, from the gunshot. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition... Say, what is this? And let's just break our immersion a little bit here. Seems like every time we get handed a new weapon, it, it's golden for some reason. If it keeps doing it, we'll just stop trying to solve it. We should make quite a team. I mean, to be fair, the game's so low resolution, you can barely tell anyway, but, you know, it's still nice. Come on. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Whoa there. Dismount your horse. Come on, then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to use. Oh. There we go. I don't know about that. We are still using a controller, however. There we go. We got him taken care of. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Whoa! We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Let's see what, are, what other antics, antics, blah, I can't speak, we'll get up if to now. If it's not now. the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Go. Hurry, I think we're going straight for the chicken coop. All right. Use a little bit of dead eye here, why not? Alright, let's move on. And uh, we'll, we will be uh, a lot more talkative uh, later you know, in the playthrough. You can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, oh, Mr. Goodness. I guess you can't uh, hitch until you get the prompt. Yeah, there you go. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. 
Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. So you can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. I gotta see that doctor about this burning. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of ammo here. And we'll go ahead and save as well. Hey Vader, welcome to the stream, and hello everyone else who is here, and by the way. Alright, so let's head on over to Bonnie and see what our next mission is. Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. All right, let's do a little race. Now there's a certain point in this race that I used to always choke it, and if we, if we choke it again, it's going to be quite hilarious. Uh, but there's a bridge that On I need to stay cautious three. for. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. All right, so I mean, all you really need to do to win this is know how to manage your horse's stamina. That's all you really need to know. It's Jingle it's quite fires, easy. Yeah. Should I wait for you to catch up? I love the taunts that uh, John gives this whole time. Are you saving the best for last? Would you like me to slow down? How you doing back there? Let's go. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. John, you're so far away she can't even hear you at this point. Let's go. I believe this bridge is up here. Come yeah, on. here it is. I used to always just fly off the side of that bridge, like, like shoot wide to the left and die. Like I did that three times in a row, I think, at uh, at one point. See, I wasn't paying attention there, and I messed up my stamina, so she caught up quite a bit. Yeah. Or maybe it was this, there's another, maybe there's another bridge coming up that I'm actually forgetting. 
Yeah, and stuff like that. The auto jump for the horses in this game leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, it was this bridge. Excuse me. My memory is uh, failing me. See? See how the horse wants to pull to the left there? That happened to me all the time. Luckily, it seems like uh, some form of catch-up is on, so yeah, you're kind of meant to win this race, I think. I believe you can lose it, and the uh, and the mission will still pass, but uh, obviously, you know, uh, a little less desirable. Of course, you want to win. Come on. And there you go. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Alright, so luckily, this game has modern advances such as autosave. So we can just knock these missions out one after another. We don't have to go back and, and save or anything like that. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some argue with her. and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. <laughs> I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Alright, we'd see Armadillo in the I distance. Think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Mr. Farland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. And here we are, back in Armadillo. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done.
Uh, no, we won't be getting gold on all the missions. Hello. Let's go ahead and buy some medicine here. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Men starting to question his Thanks a lot. But, uh, you don't need to get gold medals to get, um, 100%, so we're not gonna do it. And it would, uh, it would require, like, replaying missions multiple times, and that's something that I want to steer away from, uh, doing in this playthrough. Well, thanks for driving me. Uh, yeah, GTA, man, probably. That, that'd probably be the best option for the game. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Alright, so now that she's left us, we're gonna go into the general store here. I need to remind myself how much the campsite and the rabbit's foot are. Because we're gonna need to uh, get those at some point. Uh, likely soon. Oh my goodness, the frame rate. Oh, alright. So, this is fine. Oh, okay, maybe we can... There we go. Alright, so the rabbit's foot's 25, so we're gonna need about 200 bucks to get that. Um, we're gonna, not gonna need the, the maps. I mean, I know where everything is, to be honest. And then the, uh... The horse, um... Yeah, we don't need those either. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and go go do this mission for the marshal. Political realities in Armadillo. Excuse me. You got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <coughs> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. <laughs> Shall I get out of here for a minute? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. 
My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. Whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. All right. Saloon's this way. So let's head down to the saloon. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to be doing any speed runs. I'm not the speed runner type. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Sounds like he's got, got a big hat. Road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it. Better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Oh, he's got a big hat. That must be him. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Now, I've never been able to do this mission without getting detected, so we'll try. But really, it's of no consequence. In fact, getting detected, I think, makes this mission go faster. What? Has he seen us? I can't tell. Yeah, it just seems like you get instantly detected. I don't know if you're supposed to be that way. Like, I've never done it without getting detected, so... That ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. I like this place that we're going to. Later in the game, we'll have to uh, buy whoa, whoa. this property for like a side mission for a little bit. And I always enjoyed actually Hold keeping up, this up here as a you safe house. The old Pleasance house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Our first bit of combat in the game. Let's get the cattleman out. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. I'll gun down the lot of you. I shot off his hat there. Classic. Uh, right, and we should have. I remember. Oh, never mind. There we go. Bones escaping. Take it down, boy. There we go. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. 
Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Oh, now. All right, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to loot these bodies, and hopefully we can get up a little bit of money. Because you can build up money in the game pretty fast uh, with just looting bodies, so... Here, we'll uh, grab this cattleman ammo as well. I believe we had one more back here. And the next time we're in Armadillo, we'll go ahead and buy the rabbit's foot, so... What we're gonna- what we're gonna do here... I don't believe this is my horse, but it'll be fine. No, it's not my horse, because the saddle is black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the journal here. I believe- oh right, you have to unlock the challenges by doing something. So I believe sharpshooter is to shoot a bird. If I remember correctly. Maybe not? Yeah, there you go. See? You kill five wild birds. Oh lordy. That's four, I believe. And hopefully while we're riding around up here, we can get the treasure hunter, like, uh random event. That would be optimal. Uh, no, we're probably- well, it depends on how well that, uh, this playthrough goes over on the channel. If it, uh, oh, there's a rabbit. I believe I need to kill that rabbit for the hunting challenge. Or maybe it's a deer first and then rabbit? I'm not quite sure. And here I am going on about how much I remember this game. Like, I remember what I did for the challenges, but I don't necessarily remember the order at which I did, uh, I did them. I believe I hear the Treasure Hunter random event. It's to our right here. Hopefully we can get over there in time. Because it's usually somewhere in this area. Let's go. Yeah, here we are. Very grateful. Yeah, that console aim is pretty good. Coyote, you're right, AK. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I might need a, a few reminders as we uh, as we go along. Let's see what you got. So there we go. That was the sharpshooter challenge. I believe I finished that. We've got treasure hunter as well. So yeah, so Rabbits is the next one of Sharpshooter. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and head, uh, head over to Hanging Rock and get the first the uh, the first treasure. I'm like 90% sure that it's the Hanging Rock treasures first, but you know, might as well make sure. Yes, it is. So we'll head on over to Hanging Rock and... Get the show on the road. We've, all, we've also got twin rocks to our left, which we could do. Let's go ahead and go do that. Because I believe doing all of the gang hideouts is a prerequisite for 100% as well. I'm way over my head here. Damn animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Let's get the show on the road. And the NPCs in single player are so easy to kill. Like, you don't even really have to get headshots.
Yeah, we're gonna have no problem getting the hack shots later. 